You see, Twitter is like the annoying kid in class who thinks they're cool, strutting around with a smug look and raising their shoulders high to the point you think they're auditioning to be in a music video, but unknown to them, behind their back, everyone just really hates them or just can't stand their shenanigans. Not long ago, we had the case of the Encanto fan art that was causing drama all over Twitter because the characters were supposedly drawn a shade lighter than the original. But now we have to deal with this, which is pretty much an exact replica of the exact same situation and is doing the exact same thing, pissing people off on Twitter. The only difference is this time people aren't mad because the character was colored lighter than the original. They are mad because their new favorite character, Anya Forger from Spy X Family, was drawn as a person of color. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Now, before we jump in and talk about this entire situation, let's briefly discuss why artists make fan art like this so I can explain my reasons and you guys can tell me your reasons as well in the comments section. And then we all end up on the same page. Good? great so it's no big deal that artists who enjoy the anime and manga genre of entertainment or sakuga if you want to be culturally correct love drawing their favorite characters from time to time pitting them against their arch nemesis in battle drawing them in heroic moments and sometimes portraying them in rather questionable r-rated situations that can't be shown on youtube if you know what i mean the thing is everyone loves to draw their favorite character because they relate to them one way or another or they understand their struggles and sympathize with them and want to genuinely see them succeed so they make art that reflects their intentions and definitely one way or another something like this is going to come up from time to time and in as much as the reason for artists drawing cute stuff like this is pretty much self-explanatory especially for anyone who has been around the art community on Twitter, it still has people reacting the same way whenever it happens every time. Everyone that enjoys anime or manga or even just passive viewers who are not avid anime fans but still watch anime from time to time will notice that there has always been a gap when it comes to the representation of different people of color but more specifically black people and one might even argue that it may not have been intentional or it happens because black people are not known to predominantly exist around that part of the world leading to the animators not understanding how to properly create characters that reflect black afro-american and every other race that happens to fall under people of color aside from asians and one might even say it's just because they don't know how to draw black people which is why whenever a japanese artist makes fan art or a drawing of a black character and post it on twitter they end up getting called out for whitewashing and then cancelled by angry kids from the twitter art community but then whenever we see black folk come up in an anime more often than not we are presented with characters that don't genuinely look presentable sometimes characters that cannot be called cute or just characters that subconsciously look like they're mocking black people or just black features and look entirely questionable altogether i honestly can't seem to figure out why this keeps happening hmm but i'll let you guys tell me in the comments why black characters most of the times look like this in anime and if there is a genuine reason behind this or are the artists just trolling us for no reason so clearly we can see why artists or black artists take matters into their own hands pick up their pencils and draw their own black anime characters giving them proper features with relatable backstories or just making edits fan arts or race swapping their favorite anime characters and drawing them as black which neatly brings us back to our topic of today. An artist drew Anya Forger as a black character and while a good number of fans of the character enjoyed this piece of work and we're all just calling it cute and saying things like, this is an adorable edit, what an incredible job, keep on like this. This is literally one of the cutest things I have ever seen. Some others just thought this was terribly wrong and hated every bit of it. And in the words of this person who is as confused as I am, what's wrong with fans creating a favorite character to represent themselves more? 
Good question. Now, while most people had an issue with the artist race swapping the character, with everyone just pulling out the racist card to strike him, one person actually came up with a valid enough reason, which is quite understandable to be honest. So you mean people can just now get a frame from an anime and make some changes and call it fan art? I mean, don't you see how this is kind of violating others' property in some ways? They were drawn by others, frame by frame. Why not try to make your own real fan art in black? Now, this is a very valid point. I'm all for drawing your own black fan art instead of tracing an image or drawing over an already finished finalized image. But artists in the industry do this literally every time when they have to correct an image or turn out really quick keyframes in a short amount of time. So drawing over an existing keyframe while leaving traces of the original art is the only possible way to make enough art and still meet the deadline. Now I know this is not exactly the same situation and I'm not even sure if the artist that made this image works as a concept artist or an animator in the industry. I'm just saying this happens in the industry professionally so we can't just rule it out as wrong entirely and to be honest i kind of fuck with it yeah! but clearly you can tell they really are good artists and are very skilled for them to make a really good image like this and just to prove a point they can still make an entire different new image from scratch drawing the same character as a black person just to piss people off again. And then another person called this blackface, which is when a white person paints themselves to appear darker and puts on accessories on themselves to look like a black person on screen for a movie or a show or just to troll people. But since this is a drawing, I'm not sure how this applies here. It's not blackface when a black artist redesigns a white cartoon character with black features. It's blackface when a white person darkens their skin to look like a black person. My point exactly. So, black people trying to encourage more black characters in anime by redrawing characters in fan art is a problem now. There's no need to whitewash characters when 90% of them are already white. Like, damn, you all just want to be oppressed. Now, this is a pretty strong point too, since most of the characters we all grew up watching we're all just mostly predominantly white, which just creates the urge for black artists to make edits like this at any given time. But now at least we have black artists who are at top level in the animation industry and are making their own shows with black characters, so things are gradually heading in the right direction. But then this person replied saying, you ever heard of empathy? The ability to relate to and sympathize with other human beings a character should be interesting or likable regardless of skin color. If that's all you care about when watching an anime, then maybe you should stop. Boy, if you don't get No one said they only care about skin color when watching anime. How did you get to that conclusion? You make it sound as if representation is not even important at all. I feel like this person had a point at the beginning of their argument, but then just somehow down the line, they just fumbled the bag. You are so racist. My God, it's pixels. It's fan art, keyword, fan. How can you tell people to have empathy when all of a sudden you take back your word in your own second post when it comes to a different skin color fan art? You are a hypocrite. That's exactly what I was saying. The first part sounded like they were reasonably understanding with the situation and they get why the artist made the image but then all of a sudden they said psych and then flipped the script in our faces. No. The hypocrites are people who are perfectly fine with changing a white character black but freaking out and treating it like the worst crime in history when someone does the opposite. Also, you don't know what a racist is or who I am, so calling me that is your own opinion. <sighs> I think basically what this person is saying is there clearly is a double standard and their point is if everyone is comfortable and fine with making a canon character 
dark skin, they should also be fine when it's done the opposite way as well, which might kind of make sense if both races were on the same level when it comes to representation in media, film, animation, and every other form of modern day entertainment. But sadly, that is not the case. Like I said earlier on, it is getting better and black people and other people of color are gradually getting to see characters that look like them and characters they can relate to on screen. But even at that, the ratio is still five to one for every black character you will see in an animation or TV show or whatever. Which brings us back to square one again. If the character was changed to black in the show, that would have been blackwashing. This is fan art, not blackwashing. Relax, at least you acknowledge it exists. You need to check your spelling before coming after people online. What exists? Backwashing. Backwashing? What's that? Is it when you're taking a bath and ask someone to wash your back? <laughs> Bro, what am I even reading right now? Blackwashing does not exist and if you think that it does, try turning your brain on and off again because clearly something is wrong up there bestie. Wow just calling them out like that in public as you should queen while this statement is quite understandable it's always up for debate by people who are offended when artists take a caucasian character and make them black but when the same is done for a black character they lose their shit so i'll just leave it up to you guys to decide in the comments do you think blackwashing exists or nah telling us why you think it exists or it doesn't with strong valid points 20 marks for every solid point. How did this piss so many people off? Because they can't stand to see black people in anime, because this is deemed okay, but drawing a black character in direct sunlight is calling for death threats, doxing, and account suspension, because anime fans are stuck in a culture war that's rotting their brains. <laughs> I feel like the first part where they said they can't stand to see black people in anime is just because they're so used to seeing Japanese characters in anime because it's made in Japan or other parts of Asia, duh. So seeing a character that is darker skin just makes it look like that character is out of place and just doesn't belong there. But I really don't know, OP might be right and they really just can't stand seeing black people in anime. And as for the part of drawing black characters in direct sunlight, no matter how much time a dark skinned person stands outside in direct sunlight or just close to a big bright light source, they will never look like a Caucasian person standing in the same light source or in direct sunlight. So using that as an argument point is not even close to being considered as valid. But you're right, situations like this always end in someone's accounts getting suspended, then of course a few people getting sent weird DMs. I've seen people criticizing whitewashing, a black character is erasing black representation, but why is blackwashing an Asian character okay? Anime is made up of majority of Asian characters, so it's really not taking away representation since the entire series is Asian representation. To be honest, I just feel like people are reading too much meaning into this and they're all just getting mad over it with their main reason being it's a double standard. And they have every right to be mad, but honestly, we should all just enjoy the art for what it is. A genuinely beautiful drawing that highlights the need for representation of black people in anime. Anyways, that's all I have for you today if you enjoyed the video please leave it a like share it with someone who will understand this situation and subscribe to my channel if you are new here i will really appreciate that all right pretty penguins i will see you in the next video peace